Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 10. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. And this one, you can see, um, we have the arm. This is a forearm, right? And this person carry a ball. And the first one, we need to find the torque needed. So when we want to find the torque needed, we say what is given. The first one given is the mass of this ball and the linear acceleration, that is acceleration tangent, because it is in this direction, right? Seven meter per second square, and the, this is a fixed point axis of rotation. So the distance r is given, 0 0.31 meter. Now, can you find the torque? Because if we want to find torque, we have two ways. One is you know the force, you know the distance. Another one is you, you know the momentum of a ratio and then the acceleration, angular acceleration, right? So now we can consider, in these cases, it's more easy to find its I and the alpha, agree? So how can you find the I? Easy, because this is a ball, see there? This is a fixed point, the distance between the ball and the fixed point, R, so M R squared, right? And the next one, can you find the Talk, you need to find alpha. Can you get alpha? Yes, it tells you the tangent acceleration equal to r times alpha. Agree? r times alpha. This is what we have in the R test book. Now you can input this two function inside. You get the final function. Look like this one. In this function, you can see mass is given, r is given, tangent of the acceleration is given. So very easily you get this torque. The next one asks you the force that must be act by the muscle. So you can see this is a fixed point and the torque is just balanced. So the torque, this torque is applied by the muscle. Do you agree? Yes. Now we can see the muscle is there, the fixed point is there, the distance is this part, and this part is 0 0.025 meter. Right? And now you need to find the force, so the torque equal to R times the force, sine angle, sine theta. And there is 90 degree, 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So that means we have the torque equal to R times F. So now you can get the force F equal to torque divided by R. Thank you.